This is the meaning propagated by Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita. Hmm. That Mahapurusha, Karanandakshai Vishnu, is known as a plenary part of him, who is Lord Nityananda Balaram, the favorite associate of Lord Chaitanya. Now the above verse, and now I shall explain the tenth. Please listen with rapt attention. This is the ninth verse in Mangalacharana Shloka in the first chapter of the Lila. I offer my full obeisances unto the feet of Srinityananda Ram, whose partial representative, partial representation called Karanandaka Sai Vishnu, lying on the Karana Ushen, is the original Purusha, the master of the illusory energy and the shelter of all the universes. This is the ninth verse in Adi Lila, chapter 1. And Kaviraj Goswami explained that ninth verse. Mm. <coughs> then we will come up to tenth verse. Dasama Shloki Ratha Sunudhya Manam. I shall explain the tenth. Please listen in the rapt attention. Next he will explain. Up to this he explained. Ninth verse. Ninth, he has started to speak about Nityan Ram. Mm. I offer my full obeisance unto the feet of Nityan Ram, whose partial presentation called Karana Sai Vishnu, Mahapurush. Lying in the Karana Sen is the original Purusha, master of all illusory energy and the shelter of all universes. Hmm. So, this is to say that while Sri Kabiraj Goswami going to present hmm, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is going to present all about his associates and how the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the source of all incarnations, a source of all expansions. Therefore, Sri Kaviraj Goswami speaks about all these things. Mm. He speaks about the Mahapurusha, this Karnagasai Vishnu, hmm, who is the expansion of this uh, Baladev Nityananda Ram. Now he will speak about Nityananda Ram. This much. Nothing is there. And here he says, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna has stated that thing about that absolute truth, uh, who always possesses inconceivable power. Mm. That Krishna is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm. <coughs> Rajendra Kumaraji, Sachi Sutta Huila Se, Balaram Huila Nitai. Mm. It is also stated the same thing. Who is Brajendra Kumar, who is the son of Nanda Maharaj? He is the son of Sachi Mata, Sachi Shuta, the Saitanya. And Balaram is Nityananda. And here the same thing is stated here. Mm. So, here, yesterday we are discussing about this inconceivable tattva relating to this uh, supreme absolute truth, Krishna, mm. and how one can understand it. 
it is not easy to understand all this purpose of truth relating to supreme personality of god because is bhagwan hmm is not a material person or moon and creature here in this material world the living entities are conditioned souls they are conditioned by the illusory energy maya they have forgotten their own identity they have forgotten the supreme personality of god also and they have put defects the conditioned souls hmm? one of them is right their senses are defective mind is the chief of the senses so conditioned souls mind is also defective so on the part of conditioned soul this tattva cannot be understood unless one is cleansed of the dirt accumulated in the heart hmm one cannot understand this therefore to cleanse up these darts accumulated in the heart that means in other words you may say unless heart is purified one cannot understand this truth so sri chaitanya mahaprabhu ke who is most munificent incarnation indiscriminately distributes krishna prem love of god at krishna by chanting his holy name hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari this is his causeless mercy one who is fortunate no and gets this opportunity to hear the transcendental sound vibration ah uh, the uttering the holy name of the lord by sri chaitanya mahaprabhu or the dear devotees of chaitanya mahaprabhu his heart will be cleansed of and he can understand he can understand this truth otherwise it's not possible to understand this truth of that therefore chaitanya mahaprabhu and his followers the vaishnavas are very very merciful persons they always feel pity for this condition souls here builder souls here so they show their mercy by chanting the holy name of god darbai mercy will be showered in the condition souls and they will be if they can hear it the heart will be purified and then they can understand this thing who are they what is their real identity what is the purpose of life how can they achieve it therefore those were real vaishnavas the devotees of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu out of compassion they are traveling throughout the world and distributing this prem this krishna prem thereby sharing the mercy on all conditioned souls this 
material world is not a fit place for any gentleman to live. The statement given by Sri Mat Mukti Siddhanta Sasuti Goswami Maharaj, the nasty place. Hmm. Everything here is very very unfavorable for the attainment of perfection and the path of devotional service. But the Supreme Personality of God is Krishna, Srutam Srabhutana, who is the only well wishing friend of all living entities. All this thinks of how to mitigate the suffering of this condition souls here. And when that Krishna comes here as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as a devotee, is more merciful than Krishna. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna has given one restriction while instructing Arjuna about the message of Gita, his own message. He says, don't speak this thing, this thought, this message, avattaya atapaspaya, to the non-devotees, those who are not devotees, and those who have not undergone any penance or austerity, or tapaskai. That means this ought to be spoken only to the devotees. But when he came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he worked out that restriction. Jarde ko tare bolo prasno paris. Mora ades guru haya tare hi des. Mato give this assurance. Whom, whomever you meet, you tell him about Krishna and his message, his instructions. That means the message of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna Pradesh. I order you, you become guru and deliver the whole world of this condition says. How merciful he is. He merciful in most merciful incarnation, Satan incarnation. Mm. So, Prabhupada Saraswati Path, one of the mm, associates and great devotee, follow up. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Achaitanya Vidam Vishwam. Jadi Chaitanya Swaram Nabido Sarva Shastra Gyanapi Brahmanti Tejana. He has said this thing. Hmm. In this material world, huh, where the conditioned souls, the place of conditioned souls, who have lost their pure consciousness, huh, if they cannot accept Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. However, a great he may be the person in this middle world, great pundit, a scholar, great philosopher, great scientist, great this political leader, Whatever you mean, very powerful person, very opulent, whatever you mean. If he doesn't accept the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as the Supreme Personality of God, he cannot be delivered. He will be evolving here in the cycle of birth and death repeatedly. He says this thing. 
So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <coughs> has saw what is mercy. Hmm. And one should take shelter of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hmm. Otherwise, <coughs> he cannot be delivered. He cannot understand this tattva. Hmm. I'll speak something in Oriana, then whenever required I will speak. Again in English. In English, by the way. We are speaking about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? And what is the necessity of taking shelter at his lotus feet? This is our question. All great acharyas, previous acharyas of this life, <coughs> coming in the disciplic succession, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, have discussed this thing. Especially, I am saying, from the statements given by Srimad Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj about this and this question. Mm. I told you, and it is repeatedly said, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the supreme personal to God at Krishna Himself. And the purpose of human life, the aim of human life is to have Krishna. Do you understand? That is the perfection of human life. And how to get it, or have it. So it is said that if someone will not give up the attachment towards this material world or material enjoyment or attachment towards his so-called kith and kin, friends, those who are related with this mental body, cannot have this. So one may say, all right, I am prepared to practice such renunciation or detachment, vairagya. He says, I have taken shelter at the Lord of Spirit of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now question is raised, who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Do you understand? Yeah. It's very, very deep philosophy. And what is the meaning of surrendering at his lotus feet? Bhaktisya Saraswati Goswami Maharaj says, you want to walk, do you understand? You want to move. Then will you take shelter at the lotus feet of a horse for walking? Do you understand me? Very deep question, philosophically. Do you understand? Huh? You have many wants and you want to fulfill it. Huh? Do you want to take shelter of the money? To fulfill your wants. Do you understand? Very deep philosophy. If Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is such a thing that we should enjoy him, do you understand? If Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is an ordinary human being, 
You understand? Or is he an ordinary preacher? You understand? Chaitan Mahaprabhu is not like that. The Sarva Karana Karana. You understand? His cause of all causes. Is it or not? Sajidananda Vigraha Iswara Paramakrishna. Sajidananda Vigraha Nadi Radhi Govinda. Sarva Karana Karana. Brahma Sangita. That Krishna is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So his Sarva Karana Karana. His cause of all causes. His Purushottama. The supreme person. His original person. Isn't it? He has not come out from the time. Rather, time, past, present and future have come out from him. Understand? He is beyond all this eternal time. Do you think he is just like a bag filled with bones, skin, flesh, blood, urine, etc.? Like you? Do you understand? He is Purana Purusha, he is the oldest person. Huh? And why he has? He has become Purusha, Purana Purusha, oldest person. And Karta, the actor, by, only by creating this world. <laughs> Not only this, his Param Brahma Paramatma is Bhagavad Vastu, is Bhagavan. You understand? Says, the Bhakti Siddhanta Sasadi Goswami Maharaj says this thing. Unless you know Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu like this, you cannot in actuality Surrender and Though you say apparently or uh, externally that I have taken shelter, but you don't know who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You understand? So, in Chaitanya Sarta Amrita, it has been elaborated or discussed how a great Vedanta Pandit, Sarvam Bhattacharya, couldn't understand Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, a supreme personality of Godhead, or supreme absolute truth. Whereas his brother in law, Gopinath Acharya, could understand it. You understand? Mm-hmm. Gopinath Acharya tried his best to make him understand Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But failed. Uh, at last he became disgusted. He said, a light, Usara Bhumite I am just sowing seed in a barren land so it will not germinate. Then he wished that the light, when he will get his mercy, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy, then you can understand him. <laughs> so Gopanatha Dharya was a devotee, a dear devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he said this thing, so Mahaprabhu showered his mercy on him from Sarva Mahaprabhu and the plea of hearing Vedanta from him. Then he could understand, he could understand how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is supreme personality of Godhead. At last, he admitted that. 
वैराग्य विज्ञान जब भक्ति जो शिक्षार्थम एकम पुरुष पुराण श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य शरीर भारी कृपाम बुद्धि जो तमहू कपे महाप्रभु पुराण वैराग्य विद्या निज भक्ति जो शिक्षार्थम एकम वाइज काम जे हम इंग्लिश वॉरी ऑफ चैतन्य श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य टू टीच पीपो हिज भक्ति जो वैराग्य विद्या वैराग्यंडरस्टैंड इन थ्रोल वट इज दिस वैराग्य You understand? And how Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given his philosophy on this vairagya. You understand? What is his consideration on this vairagya? One must understand this thing. Nowadays we find, we see, yeah. In this world, most of the people cannot understand the purport of this word "vairagya." You understand? Many think this "vairagya" or "virago" means something a pathetic mood. You understand? A pathetic mood. But Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, had come here to make all people understand what is the real purport of Vairagya. You understand? Hmm. So he didn't come here as an ordinary preacher. Hmm. He showed his mercy to one and all. He has all living entities here on this material world. But up till now, most of the human population cannot understand this. We have attachment. The condition so. We have attachment for this so-called sansar, material world. You understand? And if anyhow we become disgusted or develop some repulsion towards it, people think this is by rajya. understand but this is not real vairagya but the actual purport of the vairagya that sri chaitanya mahaprabhu explained you understand and the vairagya vidyani jo bhakti joga that was i quoted Quoted by Sarvam Bhattacharya, ah. and that boy Ragya is not this boy Ragya, as general people understand. You understand? Some think like that. Oh, shall we give up this world? Ah. This is very dear. I am so much, 
sentence left us to it. Shall I give it up? Shall I give up my parents? Huh? Who have just maintained me? Huh? Who have taken so much care for my maintenance, for my education, everything? Shall I give them up? Is it boy rag? Huh? I cannot repay. What they have given, they have done for me, my parents. Huh? Shall I give them up? Leave them? Is it by Raghya? Do you understand? An ordinary person who is too much attached to the sons of things like this. And those who have externally given up this sansar, this world, are not really renunciates. And really they have not given up. Do you understand? The other day, I was speaking about the Rupa Goswami's Falkubai Do you understand? Can you remember? Falku Bhairagya. Means not really Bhairagya. Hmm? Deceptive Bhairagya. You understand? As the Falku River there in Bihar, apparently Rauk it looks dry. There is no water at all. But it is full of water. Just you. Hmm? They put some sand on the bed and get so much water inside. But apparently or externally it looks dry. But inside there is water. Similar. The so-called Vairagis hmm, are like that. The Falg Vairagis. Deceptive Vairagis. Not real Vairagis. You understand? Hmm. Attachment to samsara, attachment to this material world, and detachment for me, for me, is not necessary. Neither attachment, nor detachment. You understand? But general, ordinary people, a common man, understands this. We should give up this attachment to this shunsha and be detached from it and go to Himalayan mountain cave and stand down there and then perform this pranayam job. You understand? Purakarecha kumbha. But Mahaprabhu has not taught this thing. You understand? Mahaprabhu has not taught this thing as Vairagya. Hmm. In both the philosophy, Buddhism, you understand? They have one consideration that you take enough food, fill your belly, then enter into the Himalayan cave or mountain cave. You understand? And then close the door of the cave with a big piece of stone and just remain there. This is the attachment. You understand? So, in the cave, when you cannot get food, so you will be very, very weak, weaker and weaker and weakest. Then you cannot come to the door of the gate, cave, and just push up the big piece of mountain, I mean, say, a stone there. 
you understand? Then what? What will happen to you? At last you will die there. Isn't it? Is it Vairagya? Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. Is it Vairagya? It's not Vairagya. It is suicide. You understand? It says it is suicide. Hmm? So Vairagya means not attachment, neither attachment to this little world, nor detachment from it. And what is that? Mahaprabhu says, hmm. in whatever condition, in whatever state of life one may be, let him be there. You understand? But he should understand that what is the aim of his life and how to achieve it. Huh? By remaining in that state, in that condition, if he can achieve the aim of his life, then what is the necessity? of going to Himalayan mountain cave and doing this pura kari chaka kumbhaka pranayam sadhana there. Huh? What is the necessity? One must think it up very seriously. You understand? You may remain in the home or remain in the forest. <coughs> Whatever. Gwe thako, boni thako. Sada Haribuli Dara. Wherever you are, either in home or in the forest, outside home, just say Hari. You understand? Be eager enough, very much interested, develop your great interest, listening to him, listening is Katha, Hari Katha. From bona fide authorities. You understand? If you just do this, as a rapt attention, you get interest, automatically, or eventually, your attachment to the so called sansar will go away. And this is the real Vedasya. Mahaprabhu's teaching. And the Acharyas. Coming under this discipline succession, Chaitanya, Mahaprabhu succession, they say this thing. Asakti Rahita Samanda Saita Vishaya Samoa Shakoli Madho. Sri Hari Sebae Daha Anukula Vishaya Bolya Tyage Hoy Bula. This is one song. Mahadana is written. Hmm? The meaning is that. Hmm? Everything is related to Krishna. You understand? Because it has been <coughs> created by Him. So, if you give up such thing which is or which can be utilized in the service of Hari and which is favorable for His service, if you just give up that thing saying Maya, 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 do you understand? Then you commit a mistake. Do you understand? Then you commit a mistake. The so called Varagis, Tyagis, do you understand? Commit such mistake. Hmm. Mahaprabhu has not taught this thing. Mahaprabhu has taught only one thing. Just develop your love towards Krishna. And know it correctly and be convinced very well that everything is related to Krishna. And just utilize it for his service. This is real Vairagya. 
You understand? So my saying is that one understand this thing in this way. Hmm? He has received the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mercy, the Vaishnavas, the Adharjas, Vaishnava Adharjas, those come under this district succession. Do you understand? So they can understand this tattva. That Kavirat Goswami speaks here. Otherwise, nobody can understand. The proof is Sarvahum Bhattacharya. He is such a great stalwart scholar. Incarnation of Raspati. But uh, at the outset, he couldn't understand Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then, when he got the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then he could. So, this is most important thing. Get the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then you can understand this perfect. Hmm? Otherwise, not possible. Understand? Thanks. Thanks.